Hey everyone, today I will be reviewing this beautiful Bloom Bloomix Power Doll by Jack Specific. So first I'm just going to give you guys a view of the front of the box. So she has some hearts here, she has a heart there. And then here's a quick view of the back of the box that shows all of the Bloomix girls. So here is the Winx Club logo in the upper corner. Here's Bloom, here are her hearts. There's Sparkly, Six to Collect, there's Bloom Bleedix artwork, sadly it is not Bloomix artwork, which would, would have been really cool because the Bloomix artwork is amazing. Then here's another heart, and Bloom Bloomix Power with the Nick logo. Then it says Real Fluttering Wings right here, and it has a picture of the stock art of Bloom's Bloomix doll. And then here on the back we have the Winx Club logo, it says Bloomix Power Collection, it has a heart, the heart's from the front basically, it says the magic is in you and it shows all of the girls, and then it has some Bloom Bolivix artwork, it has Bloom's name, and then here's a description of the line, so you guys can pause this and read it if you like. Um, Nick.com slash Wings, WingsToys.Jacks.com, the Jacks, Nick, and Rainbow logos, and then there's the Mythics collection. Guys, actually, before I open her up, I just want to say that Jack Specific said on their Facebook page um, to some people that asked them that they're not releasing Mythics and Color Splash anymore, and that Blue Mix will be the last Winx Club line, so that's really sad. And especially since the Mythics line and Color Splash look so pretty, so that really sucks. I'm kind of upset that Jack Pacific made it seem like they were coming out, and then they just aren't releasing them. And I know that the line was uh, had poor sales, but it sucks. Just wanted to tell you guys. Alright guys, so I have Bloom Bloom Mix out of the box, and she is absolutely stunning. I'm not sure if I like her more than Flora, but I definitely like her more than Stella. Um, folded Stella's skirt down a little bit to see what that would look like, but um, I like Bloom a lot more than Stella. Stella is pretty, but she's my least favorite, I think, of the Bloom Mix collection, but I'll have to see when I get the rest. So Bloom comes with this very light blue Winx Club hairbrush, as you can see there's the Winx Club logo, some little spoke things, okay sorry this is focused on Bloom and not even on the brush anymore but I think you guys can still see it pretty good. Oh wow Bloom, look at her wings, those are amazing. Okay, Bloom's makeup, beautiful. Okay, she has this light blue eyeshadow first, then there's like a blue like line. And then there's some pink eyeshadow on top of that, and it's glittery. And then on the side of her eyes, as you can see, she has this like blue side eyeshadow, which is really cool. Her makeup look is amazing. So that is awesome. And then she has these um, pink, kind of glossy, shiny lipstick. So Bloom's hair is awesome as well. She has these two streaks in the front, these little, um, I guess, side bang things. Um, they're very pretty and they're super curly. They're just very pretty. So I'm going to keep them like behind your arms though, because I like how they look better that way. Because they stay less out of her face like that. So um, then she has this yellow crown, which is the same mold as her Harmonix um, doll except it's cast in like a goldish yellow color and you can see there's like a seashell, a heart for the designs and it goes around her head and there's like these little gold um, strings that are keeping it in. Okay then the back of her hair is amazing as well. Um, she has this bun on top of her head which is super cool. She has these braids and all these bands that are um, forming her hairstyle. So that's cool, and then there's like these twists, it's awesome, her hair is super soft. It looks a little messy towards the bottom, but it's very nice quality, you could like brush it and style it a little more if you wanted to. But everything is really nice and like tight at the top, the hairstyle is just 
amazing. So this Bloom doll is definitely, she's just amazing. So for her top, um, I'm going to take off the stand actually, it'll be a little easier to show you. So for her top, she has this like white transparent material at the top and there is some glitter on it. Um, then like her whole top is basically this blue but it's in different sections. We have the sleeves and like the top of her chest here has this a little bit darker blue material and the sleeves are jagged and they're kind of stiff. And then for her bodice basically I think I would call that. Um, she has this gold design, it's light blue, um, the area around the gold design, so the design is cool. Her top really isn't accurate to her transformation at all, but um, it's still nice. Then she has this transparent white material at the bottom, and it's cool, there's glitter on it. I would probably say it's the same material as at the top, but I could be wrong. Um, then let's get to her back. Just took her wings out. Um, she has these two little ribbons here that like form like a little necklace in the front. So I don't even know how you would take this outfit off. I'm gonna try it really quick just to see because it seems it would be like really hard to get this off with this strap here. And I'm not going to try it, but if anyone takes it off, tell me how hard it was. It just seems like it would be complicated. So yeah, and that is the rest of the back. Very pretty top, even though it's not really to show accurate. Okay, then for her leggings, they're like an elastic waistband at the top. So I just want to show you guys that. I'm going to fold her top back over. Um, she has this really cool, it's like a feathery armor design is how I would describe it. And that was the design of her leggings in the show. So that that's pretty accurate, I guess. And then that's how it starts off at the top at the bottom. It kind of fades into something else. I'm not really sure how I would describe it. But um, it's gold and it looks great against the royal blue color of her leggings. It's absolutely beautiful. And her legs bend pretty good in this. It really doesn't limit the flexibility of the doll too much. She can still do this. And I'm sorry this isn't focused right now. I'm gonna focus it. Okay, just focus it so. She can still bend pretty nicely, her articulation is fine with the leggings, they're not too tight or anything like that. So those were the leggings. And then here are her shoes. All the girls in this collection have the same ankle, bowl, ankle boot mold. Um, so blooms are like a dark royal blue. And they have glitters in them. I really love this color. Blue is actually my favorite color, guys. So maybe that's why I love this doll so much. But blue was just so pretty. As you can, you guys can kind of kind of see her foot in there. So they're like transparent. On the other dolls, it's more evident that her, the shoes are transparent. But um, this dark blue makes it a little darker, I guess. And there's a Wings Club X at the bottom. You guys can see it really good right there. Um, so yeah, those are her shoes, um, they're the same mold also as the Bloom and Flora Charm Excels from the Toys R Us exclusives, and in the show, there's really no transition between the leggings and the shoes, they're kind of one piece, basically, but this is how they made the dolls, and I don't really know how I feel about the skin showing. I mentioned this in my other two reviews for the Bloom Mix dolls, but I just thought I'd mention it in this one. So what do you guys think about the skin showing compared to her Blue Mix transformation from the show? And here um, is her wristband. I'll show that. 
It's the same mold as the Darcy Storming Icy Cyrenic styles that were Toys R Us exclusives, but it was molded in this gold yellowish color. So it's just kind of jelly ish, but it's stiff. And it's just like little swirl designs, and it's held on with a clear rubber band. And guys, probably the best part of this doll are these gorgeous wings. Um, they have this fire pattern on the inside that is so cool and epic. And the colors are amazing. Like, they're just so vibrant. I mean, they're a little faded, I guess, on the inside, but everything just looks so pretty. Whoever designed these wings did an amazing job. Um... I love the like holographic blue outline with all different colors when you reflect them in the light. That's so cool. Then there's these little um, designs here. I'm trying to focus them. I'll be right there. Okay, that's better. So they're just like, these little dotted designs. Like little, they look like almost little paint splatters, but they look really awesome. So Bloomix Bloomix wings, Blooms Bloomix wings are probably my favorite out of all the dolls. Like these wings are just epic. And guys, the wings, like you guys know, you just take them here and you put them into the Wings Club X, and then they can flutter. So let's see how they work with all this hair behind them. All right, so you can move her back and forth and that's how the wings flutter. So, pretty awesome. Bloom, this Bloom doll is amazing. So guys, that was my review of the Bloom Bloom Excel by Jack Specific. This doll is just awesome. I think I like her better than Flora. Like, there's just something about her that I absolutely love. She just looks so awesome. Jax did a great job on her. Um, next week I'll probably be have Aisha up. Um, and then in the meantime, hopefully I'll find Blue. No, I'll hopefully I'll find Tecna and Musa because I just need those two to complete the Blue Mix collection. And um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. So I will see you later, and there will be pictures of this gorgeous doll right now. So. If you like Winx Club um, and the dolls, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. So, see you guys later.